Today, I'll be synthesizing nitrogen gas in preparation for the ongoing DMP series. The main reason I need nitrogen is to create an inert atmosphere for a future experiment that will prevent unwanted side reactions due to oxygen and water in the atmosphere. To synthesize nitrogen gas, you'll need about 24 grams of ammonium chloride, 28.5 grams of sodium nitrite, and about 250 milliliters of distilled water. The ammonium chloride can be sourced from electrical flux, and the sodium nitrate can be a bit harder to find, but is part of curing salt. To a 500 milliliter flask, the sodium nitrate and ammonium chloride were dissolved in about 250 milliliters of distilled water. The solution here is a bit cloudy, but this is due to the fact that my ammonium chloride source is not particularly pure. After the addition, the reaction flask is capped with a stopper that has a glass rod through it at one end and tubing at the other that directs the flow of nitrogen gas. Reaction that is occurring is shown here where the sodium nitrite and ammonium chloride react to form ammonium nitrate and sodium chloride in solution. The ammonium nitrate is not very stable, so it slowly decomposes at room temperature into nitrogen gas and water. This decomposition can be sped up with some heating, but my cheap hot plate boils water even at its lowest setting, so a controlled decomposition of nitrogen becomes harder in my case. If you want a steady and gentle flow of nitrogen, heat this solution gently with constant stirring. The test for the generation of nitrogen is pretty simple. The hose directing the gas is placed into a beaker to produce a nitrogen atmosphere before placing a match into said beaker. The match will go out as shown here as the nitrogen quenches the flame due to the gas's non-flammability. I plan to refine this procedure some before I use it in the DMP synthesis. This refinement will include adding a drying trap using a drying agent like calcium chloride, as well as possibly using balloons to collect and temporarily store the nitrogen before use. If you'd like to see a video on this refined process in the future, or have any ideas to improve this procedure, please leave a comment below. I hope this procedure is useful, and thank you for watching.